Hey guys, it's me, Dave. It is, what is it, 412? Yeah, 412, 2022, so it's Tuesday night. It's about 9 p.m. Uh, Central Time, so I thought I'd do a little video, talk about some stuff. Um, you know, I tell you, I went to the call there tonight, and uh, I laughed. Um, you know, they got all these old lady perps on there. They're, they're, all, they're old enough to be your grandma, man, I'm telling you. And they are perps. I'm not being paranoid. They, they really are, you know. They're, they're, you know, talking about some stuff, you know. <laughs> um... You know, anyway, besides that, okay, so I want to talk about mind games, you guys. Okay, so lately they are playing mind games on me, okay, with V2K. Okay, now I used to get V2K, I, I got it for a year. So, and, you know, so I, I know some of their, t uh, you know, some of their tricks and stuff like that they play on us, you know, they, they do all kinds of stuff, and it's hard to tell if it's V2K or not, you know, because they can do it directional. They can make it sound like it's come from the kitchen. They make it sound like it's come from outside. They can make it sound like it's come from the living room. Okay, so now today, you know, they they they, they want me to. They're they're gaslighting me is what they're doing. You know, so trying to make me look a little crazy. Okay, so they're gaslighting me. Uh, look it up if you don't know what it means. <laughs> you know, I'm sure TIs do. Uh, I'm just saying, if there's anyone new to my channel, um, do research on targeted individuals, remote neuro monitoring, voice to skull technology. Um, we are basically being hit with the same weapons that the diplomats are being hit with, or they were hit, being hit with. Okay, okay. So mind games with V2K. Okay, so. I woke up and, and, you know, I've been sleeping with my headphones on lately, listening to white noise and all this stuff. Um, so I woke up, took my headphones off, and I hear some banging. It sounds like it's coming from outside. It sounds like somebody's pounding on a metal pipe, you know, or a pole, a metal pole. Okay, now they, do, they have done this before, and um, they can make it sound like it's come from all kinds of different directions. So it was coming from... Let's say the laundromat across the street, or kitty corner from my house. There's a laundromat, so they're making it sound like it's coming from there. Okay, now other times they can make it sound like it, like somebody's walking down uh, the alleyway, pounding a pipe. Okay, now I I, I fell for it a couple times in the beginning. You know, I'm looking outside. I I don't see anybody out there. I don't see not one person out there pounding on a pipe. Okay, so it's got to be V2K. Okay, uh, they will do all kinds of mind tricks on us, you guys. Okay, so they're doing that today. And they can make it sound like it's coming from the laundromat. They can make it sound like the guy's walking down the alleyway, pounding a pipe. I went out there, there ain't nobody out there. Nobody's out there. Okay, so I, I guess the end result is they're getting res responses out of you, reactions out of you. Okay, I guess that's the goal. Um, it, besides harassment. So, okay, so another thing they've been doing, um, I live on Lake Superior, you guys. Um, two miles down is the big lake, Lake Superior, up here in northern Minnesota. Okay, so, um, we have, uh, there's, I, I live close to the harbor, and we have ship, ships coming in all the time, uh, delivering goods and, and whatever they deliver. Uh, taconite and, and stuff like that, uh, uh, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so uh, I live two miles from the harbor. Okay, so we have a, a foghorn. Okay, now they've been doing a foghorn, um, just ape shit. I mean, ape crap, I'll say, um, on this foghorn. Okay, now they will do this foghorn. And I was going to the store the other day, and they made the foghorn sound like it was coming right on the side of me uh, by the paper plant, okay? Which is not really near the lake at all, okay? So they're doing this foghorn. They're going, burr, 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 you know, crazy, you know? They want me to think. They want me to think this guy... Okay, is being paid off, and he oh he's he, he's involved and he's doing the foghorn and all the stuff. He's involved in my program and all the stuff. I don't think that's the case. I think it's V two K. 
Uh, I woke up today, they were doing the foghorn and all the stuff. They can do it from different directions, like I said before, and make you think stuff. You know, your deception is off. Okay, so they do all kinds of mind tricks on us. I, I've heard uh, people say that they go to the toilet and their neighbor is uh, is, is um, shaking their toilet back and forth. Well, that's V2K. These guys have thousands and thousands of sounds, you guys, on a soundboard. They can do whatever. They can do sirens. They can do um, pipes rattling. They can do uh, like somebody's hitting the floor. And it will actually feel like somebody is hitting the floor. Uh, they will have people talk outside um, where, where you know, they, they, they can try to make you lash out at your neighbor. When it's not your neighbor, actually, sometimes it is, you guys. I've had experiences, sometimes it is the neighbor out there making noise. But sometimes they use V2K to get you mad at the neighbor or get you mad at somebody in the neighborhood, okay? So they will do all kinds of mind tricks on us to get us to lash out. Um, I remember they were, if one of my skits was I was going to a group home. I would go to the gas station and standing in line and there'd be people behind me. And they would make it sound like the guy behind me is saying, group home. Well, it wasn't him at all. It was V2K, a mind trick. So they would use all kinds of mind tricks, psychological warfare, you know, and gaslighting to try to make us look a little crazy, you know. Um, so we got to make sure we ignore that stuff. Um, you know, they can call us a coward and a chicken and all this stuff, but we have to ignore these people. These people are fueled by our misery, you guys. They're fueled by our misery, okay? They get off on this stuff. They get their jollies off on this stuff, you guys. And, and they want more and more, and they think they're powerful, and they think they're powerful, and all this stuff, which they're not powerful at all. It's their delusions, in their own mind, they're delusional, okay? They're not powerful. They can't do anything. They can't send us to jail. They can't send us to the psych ward. They can't send us anywhere, you know. Um, you know, so these people think they have power, but they're just a bunch of noisemakers. Uh, whether it's V2K or in person, they make noise for a living. They lie for a living and all this stuff. So we have to ignore that behavior, uh, you know, um, these guys are, are profiled, you guys, by the FBI and the CIA. These guys are profiled as psychopaths. I'm sure there's more medical terms that they're profiled by, you know, criminally insane, uh, demented, uh, psychopaths, you know, and all this stuff. They're, they're profiled, you know, they, they know that these people don't care. They don't have a conscience. They don't have a guilty conscience. They don't have uh, remorse. They don't have any of these feelings that normal people have. So, that's what I'm talking about. Mind games. Psychological warfare. It's a psyop. Half of this program is a psyop, you guys. And we, got, we just have to learn to ignore it, you know, and stuff. Because not everything is what it seems. Not everything is what it seems in this program. A lot of manipulation and deception, manipulation, and all this stuff. So I just want to talk about that. Anyway, not much going on. Not much going on, you guys. Um, I slept a lot of the day. It was rainy, cold. Um, I really didn't do anything. I made smelt for supper. That was kind of the highlight of my, my day. I made smelt. Uh, smelting season up here in, in uh, Minnesota. So I love smelt. And... Um, I'm going to have to see if I can get some more. Uh, other than that, not much going on. So I'm going to cut this off. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, is there something going on? I don't know. There's something going on in my program. Uh, if you're bored one night and you look up important people to write to, take a chance and write to those people and tell them that you're a TI and what you're going through. Uh, don't talk crazy stuff. But talk, you know, what you're going through and you're being hurt and suffering and all this stuff. It may help. Okay, you guys. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to cut this off and I'll talk to you guys later.